delete my picture so I'm have to use this but it disappears so it's, it should be fine but this is what if Techie would stain sun so in this I left off after he wins the sports festival um you know that move that I used I called it like the blood bullet yeah I think that was too OP so I'm deleting it I'm probably not gonna make it as strong as it was because I was a little too OP. I was like tired, so I made it super OP. But it's practically the same concept. But instead, he forms a bullet in the air. And he uses one for all in the tentacles or black whip and smacks them. And it is a shotgun, which is shotgun version. Which it did obliterate, or it did break a lot of stuff, but yeah. So, in this, he would go to Night Eyes. Why Night Eyes? Because Night Eye knows a lot about One For All. And he has been thinking that he needs to make his moves not as... He needs to make them more focused instead of destroying everything around him. Because that shotgun's wide range, his machinatious smash is wide range and all that so in this he would battle night eye and all that but he would come up with the move called airstrike airstrike it is practically the flick you guys remember the flick from the anime yeah that's what it is and so he flicks the shoot it and it is really precise instead of being wide ranged and all that and since he already has 20% so it does shoot airwaves and all that but yeah he would do some combat training but he is a master hand-to-hand -hand combat or his style of it which he's been using a lot of kicks because of you know um, his one for all being stronger on his legs but yeah but he can use hand-to-hand -hand, like hand to this other hand right here and I can whoop you how you about to get some phase but, oh my god, what am I talking about? But yeah. So, yeah. Nadai, we know he is pretty good at launching stuff towards people. As we've seen. Because he is a close range fighter and a long range because he can throw stuff at you and knock you out. But, besides the point. Yeah, let me put that right there. But yeah, so he would meet Mirio and they would train. Uraraka would meet her agentship that she did an internship or or as a work study at. I'm just going to, everybody that had a work study would go to the work study instead. And I'll say Bakugou went to, you know, What's his name? Um, Endeavors. And Todoroki went to Endeavors. And this. Naruto went to. Or. Actually, instead of Night Eyes. Nah, scratch all that Night Eyes. I'll say he goes into Endeavors. Because, like, has you guys seen the manga? Whenever you went to Endeavor? And all that? I like it, but yeah. So they're, what they're doing is they're going out and about training outside, not training inside anymore, inside like the agency, like they're on the streets running. I'll just say that. And all that. And while they're running, they're racing pretty much with, with, um, you know, Deku being further ahead, 
but not too much now because they have been training to catch up with him. But, and all that, so they'll still be running, and that's whenever some villains will attack. With them getting permission to attack them. This is whenever Deku would jump up in the air and say an airstrike, shooting a flick, hitting one of the villains in the head, knocking them out, and slamming them to the ground. Todoroki going up to one, freezing it, freezing him, and that's whenever you come up behind him and say, and would shoot a fire blast, exploding them. That's when Bakugo would say, would stick out his hands, shooting like an EP armor piercing shot, but like a big, like a one handed one, pretty much. Exploding or striking them. With Dever taking out the biggest one with a. What? I forgot. It was like flash explosion. It was like fire flash. Which is practically, um, you know. Bakugo's EP shot with Toroki saying this and he would learn it in this the flash fist fire flash fist but yeah so they would just be kind of doing combat training on the streets and all that running and all that not using their corks while running us up or they would use their corks but Todoroki would be using his fire a lot more in this. With Todoroki developing the ability to use his fire all over his body. And his ice all over his body. And all that. So yeah. Because he's immune to both of them. He has like a perfect body for them. Unlike Dobby having like an ice user's body and having a fire cork because that's what he had pretty much but yeah so yeah so he he would learn how to hover on his flames not flying but hover like he's gliding on them. Yeah, he would be flying. What am I talking about? But he would be able to emanate fire from his feet. And put his hands behind his back like Bakugo and blast him off. Speeding up faster than his ice. And he can... He has new ice ability, he calls it... Or his new ability is called... Absolute Zero... Which, I think I use this in a different what if, but it's pretty much where he can use his cork in a certain range. And this one is, I'll say, 10 feet in every direction. Which is practically just a close-up ability, but he can use ice and shoot it off. But yeah. So that's what he's been using right now. So yeah, so he can also change directions, and after le learning this, he doesn't even have to focus and put his hands behind the back, so now he can shoot ice sickles from his hands and everything in front of him. Bak um, Deku would just work on his um, smashes. Oh yeah, Texas Smash is one of the vor or tornado ones, not, I don't know what I was saying, Detroit, and all that, but it's Texas Smash for a Vortex. So during sparring, whenever Todoroki shoots a fire at Deku, whenever he's gliding in the air, um, he will use a Texas Smash to towards the ground completely, not in front of him. And this would create a ability to nummify fire from for him. Because he can disperse the fire with the tornado. Um, Udraka is learning how to hover and fly. Froppy is just there. I don't know why, but she's doing something. 
Ojiro and Dupe the Arms are with um, Orca Gang and I don't know what the rest are doing, but I, I really don't know, but yeah. So, because they would just be going around and all that, but yeah. So, it is time for them to come back, or no, it's time for the Stain Arc. Stain Arc. But, of course, Stain's name is not Stain, so Deku wouldn't know who Stain is, but hearing some reports of how Stain can take down people with a blade and all that, which he still would be known as a hero killer, so he still kills heroes. But, yeah. So walking one day, because he knows that Ida is looking for him, he would tell them. And they would be where all the Nomas are, and they would hear Ida. Somebody yell out Ida, and they would rush over there. Getting there, they would see a dude with wrapped up face and all that. Or, wait, no, Rock already knows how to hover. Why am I, <laughs> I just had to think about that. And all that. But. They would see him. All that. But that's whenever Deku would run in. Seeing Stain. And he would freeze. With them being fused. Or like. Deku why are you freezing? And that's whenever Stain would say. Zuku. And that's whenever he would say. Father. Dun dun dun. After. You know, Toroki and Bakugo hears this. Because I'll say Bakugo just never knew his father. I'll just say that. Because that's whenever Bakugo's like, that's your father? Deku. But probably an angry voice saying that. So he's the same killer. Ida would hear this thinking that so Deku's father is the one that crippled um my brother, and that's when for Deku would have took out his weapons and when he just got ready for combat, confusing Todoroki and them, and saying that isn't that your father? Deku says he is still a villain, so I must take him down with a tear dripping on the floor. And that's when he would turn on one crawl and would say, I must take you down, jumping off. Speed blicks in him. He would swing his hands, cutting stain in the chest completely. Absorbing, taking the blood. And that's, stain would be like, what is this power? It's some, some kind of enhancement. When did he get this? That's whenever the blood will start going, turning into blood cowling or blood calling, and <laughs> would have increased his ability to make the blood even thicker, more volume of blood. That's whenever his gauntlets, I'll say, were low because they were doing training, and they're and he was taking down Nomos on the way, but and it would fill up completely. I was wondering if he would jump off again. And whenever Stain's about to punch him or strike him, that's whenever a blade in the air from the blood ca blood calling would appear. And when this happens, it would strike Stain's blade away, taking the blade, slicing his arm, tendant. And that's whenever Deku would have punched Stain in the f or punched his father in the face. Cutting him with his gauntlets. That's when Stain would be on the ground. And he would try to get back up. And that's whenever Deku would say. Airstrike flicking. Knocking his father out. He would pick him up. Wrapping up. And would have tied him up. 
watching him the whole time, sitting down. With them not going up to talk him. Because he just learned that his father was a villain or a hero, hero killer. And what's going through his mind is that my father always wanted me to be a hero. To be a true hero, he called it. But he killed them. And all that. So people would come to pick up Stain and there's that um I'll say when they go up they ask what happened. Um, Deku would say, um, we caught my father and all that, or he would stop whenever he says that. He says, we caught Stain, the hero killer. They ask what you, he means. He says that Stain is my father, the hero killer, with the recording catching this, which would go out through, and he would explain his father's philosophy. But he never thought he would do the whole thing. But yeah. With all the villains that believed in Stain hearing this. And knowing his philosophy. Because I'll say Stain woke up and did the whole thing again. But not, um, Deku not being afraid of his, his bloodlust. Well, that's whenever Inomu would try to pick him up. And Naruto, or not Naruto, but Deku would just spend with his <coughs> with his claws cutting the Nomu open, splitting in half with his strength, with one frog in it. So Dobby Toga Splinter and all that would hear this. League of Villains and all that. So that would make a target, that could be a target to become a villain, or a vigilante. <coughs> and to become a villain on the um, villain league's um, target, and on anybody that followed Stain. So this will I leave it off. Hope you like this part. See you in the next one. Bye.